My name is John Barker. Welcome back to Skull and Mortar. Today, we're gonna smoke us some deer hindquarter. So this thing has a ton of silver skin on it. So we're just gonna spend a little time trimming that off of there. Make sure you get it all off. It's not gonna add anything to your flavor. It's not gonna render out. It's just gonna create like a weirdness on the top of your meat. So get rid of it. Nobody likes weirdness on the top of their meat. For real though, don't be a pervert. Now we're going to create a brine here because we want to get rid of some of that gaminess. So we're going to put about two cups of apple juice, about a cup or so of apple cider vinegar in there. That vinegar is really going to eat away at that gaminess, but we want to kind of shoot a little extra meaty flavor, a little umami, if you will. So we're going to hit it with Worcestershire and we're going to hit it with some of that skull and mortar steak rub, which will be available on the website soon. Now we're also going to take some of that brine and we're going to inject it into the meat. We want to make sure that we get a deep penetrating flavor there. Really make sure that you inject all over the meat. You want to get a good thorough injecting. You can't inject too much. Guys, now we have gone ahead and brined this all night and we are going to go ahead and get this on the smoker. Look at that, got this good and brined. Smells pretty good. Didn't really expect that to be honest with you. We're just gonna pat this guy dry. We wanna get that extra moisture off. Both sides. From here on out, it's easy, man. We're just gonna hit it with some of that steak seasoning and give it a good blast of that. Don't be afraid of it. Get nasty with it, if you will. Of course, you know we gotta get that skull and mortar, right? Right, we gotta get it. And you can get yours at skullandmortar.com. We got it in half pounds and full pounds. We're just gonna give it a light dusting. Again, we're not trying to overtake it with barbecue flavors, but we do wanna add those peppery notes. That rub is really perfect for just about everything, if I'm being honest with you. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit this side again here, guys. We're gonna light this up. Get nasty with it, guys. Get your table friggin' dirty, dude. What are you doing? This is not a clean man's game that we're dealing with here. Get that skull and mortar rub. Get, look at that. Come on, dogs. What are you even doing with your life? Look at that. I'm going to push this. I'm going to hit this with my meter probe. Link in description. Help a brother out. Those links do help benefit the channel. And I'm just going to throw this on and I'm going to check at it. I'm going to let it run until like 145. That should be medium rare. Effect, or sorry, medium well. Effectively, it'll be done at that point. Effectively, it'll be medium. I don't know how many times I'm going to screw that up before we get it right. But I'm going to throw it on the smoker. I'm going to check on it then and then I'm going to decide where we go from there. Will it be done? Will we let it go a little bit further? Who friggin' knows? I don't. Do I even know what I'm doing? Not according to the comments or Facebook comments. Ballin. Can we just get a little ballin right there? Just a little ballin and I go to Hell Terry. Ah, uh, man, I should probably cut that out. Probably making a fool of myself, embarrassing my kids. You can tell I got the garage door open, baby. We got them chimes going, wind chimes, if you will. And this is going on our smoker. Guys, check this out. Tell me this doesn't look amazing. Again, the meter available in the description below. We got a nice bark on here. We can see that we've got pullback on the bone here. So I'm pretty stoked. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Looks like a delicious steak, does it not? All right, guys. Bottoms up, my dude. Wow, it legitimately tastes amazing. It tastes like a very succulent steak. It's very juicy, the flavor's great. The outside bark has a good flavor. Very pleasantly surprised with this, guys. I mean, honestly, I never smoked deer before, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. If I was gonna do anything different at all, I might hit the outside of this with some sort of like lard or duck fat, but otherwise, I mean, it's good. It's moist, it's juicy. 
Uh, it's not too gamey, which is kind of something I was afraid of, which is why I hit it with that brine. Um, but the vinegar taste kind of takes out some of that gamey bite. But look at that. See that? Looking good. Watch that juice just pour out of there. Come on guys, is there anything I can't cook? I don't know, probably. But deer is not one of those things. This venison is off the hook. Remember my friends, there are no rules of cooking. So cook good, eat good. I'll see you next week with a brand new video.